guys, I am back at my usual setup. And I am about to review Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Just checked out the pilot again. And I have to say, it's really good. Um, so I'll talk about the premise, then I'll talk about what I like about it. Um, and so, first of all, I'll tell you that, um, that I, um, did not watch the Unicorn one. I watched the airing that happened after Gravity Falls. So, let's get this video on, and let's, let's get the show beginning again. So, the premise is Star is this princess from another dimension. Um, and she's voiced by Eden Shear, which I'll talk about later. And so she gets, to, so she's destructive, um, in her home world, so she's sent to Earth. Where, um, where she meets this boy named Marco. I like Marco a lot. But, uh, aside from that, um, so, and they fight, um, monsters, stuff like that. Now, for my first thing I'll t talk about, um, with it is, um, Many say it's funny. I think it's, yeah, it's kind of funny. It's not the funniest show. It's very gag-based, and I like that about it. Um, but, I mean, because it's just not my sense of humor. I'm not a fan of random slapstickish stuff. But I am a huge fan of, like, more word humor. Um, gra that's why Gravity Falls hits the humor point for me very well. Um, so now, it's time... So, what's the big thing I'm going to praise? The casting. I am a middle fan. I watch Modern Family. I watch ABC's Wednesday Night Lineup. And that's pretty much some of the only live action I watch. And Eden Shear on the middle, um, as Sue Heck, is amazing. I'll tell you, she's even better on this show. Um, previously, I, in my mind, I had compared her a lot to Mabel Pines as the character, and she, um, and she definitely fulfills that character. Um, she did an amazing job in this, and I have never seen such perfect casting in my life. Well, well, as far as I know, but, no, the casting there was spot on. Um... The story is great. Star is a very, very likable character. Um, it, how optimistic she is, and, um, <laughs> she's pretty hilarious, too. Um, so, Marco is kind of like how I am in real life, a bit more of a, I play it safe and stuff like that. Um, Star and Marco's relationship is just incredible. Um, Another thing I'll pr I'll talk about for the series is its fandom. Well, no, its intro. I have to talk about that theme song. It is amazing. Well, not amazing, but it's up there. It's up there with Gravity Falls and Steven Universe for me. Um, and um, and the ending theme is great. One of what this show reminds me of. It reminds me a lot of an anime. And that's a good thing. I mean, even the art style is very similar to an anime. Just look at the ending, um, thing. So, what's the general consensus? It's a pretty good show. Um, now, I like to talk about the fandoms. I am a TV troper. I read TV tropes a lot. And so I am about to discuss, or I am about to talk about something quickly and briefly. Um, they ha- it says there's a fandom rivalry with Steven Universe. This is going to be a great battle, alright. I am a fan of both shows, Steven Universe more so, if you know me. And re in my review of the most recent episode will be coming. It might not, um, happen actually, though, because, to be honest, um, first viewing, I didn't see much really special and viewable in it, but I, I'll review it anyway, probably, um, but both shows, I honestly am going to say that the consensus that both shows are very similar, I think is wrong, I see, um, this, uh, I see Star vs. the Forces of Evil as pretty much Spongebob meet, 
SpongeBob meets um Zany meets more of a plot base. I mean, it's got action, which SpongeBob doesn't, but it's got the same hu humor humor similarities, which is definitely good. Yeah, I'll, I'll say it's a hit. Probably a seven or an eight out of ten, and that's pretty good. Anyway. See you in the next review, and get ready for some more action. Because, guess what? So, I'm hoping this show gets renewed. And, the Lord is out.